Amanda. When does an In-N-Out burger not sound good? And I think October 22nd, 1948 should be a state holiday. I don't know why it's not because that's the day In-N-Out opened right here in California, in Baldwin Park. The In-N-Out historian himself, Tom Moon, joins us. And you've been around here for three decades. So you really... I've been back for 33 years. I'm a boomerang. I left and came back. Because why would you leave In-N-Out in the first place? All right, we're going to start with a quick piece of history. The speakers... Tell us about that. We were the first to have them in the summer of 49. So I asked Tom Evans, our first employee, what he did before the speakers. He said, well, you just took your head out the window and go, hey, what do you want? Or you'd go out there. It wasn't that busy. And now we have these two-way speakers, which is a really, really big deal. Yep. And uh, it was so novel at the time that a lot of people would stop at the speaker, even though nobody was at the window, just to order. Okay, so there's our first piece of history right there. And now Tom's going to give us a little bit of a tour of inside this 10 by 10 building, which was the original right here. So tell us about that. So the original was where the freeway is. The 10 freeway came through in 1954 and took out this store and the store in El Monte. Yeah. And we rebuilt the replica here um, about 10 years ago. And people who want to come visit, they really get to see what it was actually like in here. I can't believe that this is it's how small. they did it. Yeah, it's super small, just 10 right. foot by 10 foot. Yeah, you can take a look. You can see all the counters, everything you need to make those delicious burgers that we see. And some of the original pictures, too. I mean, we're taking a look around here, and these actually mimic exactly what was in here before. That's exactly right. So the refrigerator, we found this in the warehouse, and, and uh, it, it, we took it to Rick's Restoration in Las Vegas. He restored it. We found the original dicer block. Everything else we found on eBay. So you can find anything on eBay. That's a cheese slicer there. Amazing. And there's the cool potato cleaner machine out there, but I love this. You know, just a reminder, we should all remember this at all times. Just smile. And this is what the, they were called helpers, helpers back then. In those days, now associates. Associates. So associates smile. We all, we all need to remember to smile all the time. Uh, the potato washer. Tell me about this. So this was a washing machine, and Harry shows up with this one day, and Tom Evans goes, we're going to wash clothes. And Harry goes, no. So they peel the potatoes, put them here, fill them with water, dice them inside. And they, they'd spin dry them, so you throw potatoes in oil with water, it's going to spit at you in 350 degrees hertz. Ouch. But they they take this, this whoops, it comes, right out. comes right out, and then they dump it in the inside. Yeah. Close potatoes, the same thing. All right, well, what a cool piece of history. Everyone gets to come and enjoy. We're going to enjoy an In-N-Out burger right here because uh, you can actually get In-N-Out. It's right around the corner now, uh, right here in Baldwin Park. A great piece of history. One final tidbit about In-N-Out. Just uh, 75 years old. A lot to celebrate, and we all love it here in California. All right, I got to go. I have a burger to eat. Bye. <laughs> you actually seem like you would be a great spokesperson for, for In-N-Out. Yeah. Like you have the whole look down. Amanda, thank you. Enjoy that for us.